Welcome to the screencast for Wii Video, where I'm going to show you in your podcast how you can add music and add stingers as transitions. So what I mean by that is we've been doing some editing, and here's an example where I've been interviewing, uh, putting together an interview. So this track represents the person that's maybe narrating and asking some questions with these clips. The subject that I'm interviewing, here's their answers. Well, now we're going to show how you could add another track, and if you wanted to have some intro music to your episode, or you want to put some stingers to transition between question and answer one to question and answer two, how that kind of breaks that up and sounds more like a radio broadcast. So here's music. I'm going to point out here this little blue line. This blue line represents the audio levels. This is called a fade. When you see the audio levels start from nothing on a music piece and go up to the top, that just means that the music will grow in terms of audio level. I'll show you what that looks like. The audio level is going to play loud here until it gets to about the part where the person starts talking and then it, this is called a fade down. So the, the audio will get quieter and play a little bit quieter here, almost behind or underneath while the person is narrating or introducing their episode. And then you'll notice here there's a little bit of a fade out. So it's not just that the music stops, it actually fades out and sounds nice and kind of disappears slowly. Uh, so that's music. Here's the stinger. This is just a sound effect that you use as a transition. So it tells the person listening to it that you've left from whatever you were listening to here and moving on to something else here. So I wanna show you how to do this in Wii Video. Here's Wii Video. I've been doing my editing. Here's my interview track and my subject track that I mentioned. I'm gonna add a new track. I'm gonna zoom in here so you guys can see this. Hit the little plus. And I'm gonna make sure I click on audio. This is an audio track and I'll call this music and stingers. Oops, take that out. And I'll hit OK. So now that new track is right here. This is where I can bring in some music pieces. I've been working mostly with the media that I brought in, but if you notice up here, there's a choice for this little music note area. This is where some of your built-in sound effects are within Wii Video. When you go to this sounds area, or audio area, there's this free music folder. There's already music here you can pick and choose from. If you want to listen to or preview this, you can just click on these pieces and they start playing over here in the preview window so you can get a sense for which piece you want to pick. When you pick that piece, you can then drag it down to the Music and Stingers track and lay it down. Now, if you remember back in the example, we showed that we wanted some music to play first and then have the, the interview start. So I want to show you a trick that's really good here. When you want to move a bunch of your pieces at once, um, because you might be thinking right now as you're working in this editing here, oh, now I've got a click and move this over and click and move this over and click and move this over and that gets to be crazy. Don't, don't do that. Don't move things piece by piece. Let me undo those. Instead, if you click somewhere blank on your tracks and you start drawing a box, uh, you can draw a box over the pieces that you already have. So I'm going to grab in that box uh, the everything on the subject and the interview track and notice it's hard to see but there's a very faint blue line around them. That means that they're selected right now. With those being selected, my next click should be on one of those pieces, and if I click and hold on my trackpad, I can move all of these at once. So get these out of the way so you can figure out what you want your audio to do, your music to do, and then you can bring these back over. So again, that's just draw a box around it and move it. Good music, probably only maybe five to eight seconds just to kind of get into to what we're doing. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my zoom in and zoom out slider over here up a lot so I can see what I'm, I'm doing. So... Let's get down to here and let's move this slider over. So I'm gonna get to like five or eight seconds. So let's listen to this. So that's pretty good. So right about there, maybe I'll have this kind of go down. So I'm actually gonna grab probably like 10 seconds. So I'm gonna move this over here. I'm gonna use the scissors to cut. We learned about that in another video. I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm gonna start kind of messing with this. So now the music, we talked about fade in, fade out. When you click on a music piece, You've got your little menu that appears above. This little line represents your fade options or your audio levels. If you click on that, you can check a box right here that turns on the fade in and fade out automatically. So it automatically applies one second of a fade in and one second of a fade out. You can adjust these for whatever reason if you need to. So these little white dots, you can click on them and, and, and drag them and move them. If you click anywhere on the blue line, you can make new white dots. So if you want something to fade up and fade out at a certain point, you can adjust this. It almost bends kind of like a rubber band. So let's bring our uh, other pieces back in here. Let me go over and get those. So let me zoom out. There's a lot of clicking and zooming in and out here so you can see things on a bigger scale. I'm drawing my box over these pieces. 
And I want this to kind of start while the music's playing. So I'm going to go like right there so that as the music gets about halfway through, then I want to hear the person that's starting the podcast. And now I'll zoom in to kind of fine tune this. So here on the audio track, if I were to play this just right now as is, I use the space bar a lot to do this. You can hear there, you can't hear this, this person talking because the audio is at a high level, the blue line, and the narrator is at a high level. But if you click on this blue band and you create some points here, I'm going to click and make two points. I'm going to have this fade down and I'm going to move this over. So the fade down occurs while the speaker starts talking. I'll probably go down to like 10, 15%. I also got to move this down because otherwise it's going to start to go back up and that'll sound really awkward. So see what this blue line represents now? This is going to be at a high level, fade down. You'll hear it go quieter. It's going to play at the 16% for the rest of this clip and then it's going to fade out nicely instead of just, if I left this as a straight line, you would hear the audio just stop. You want to fade out always at the end of a music piece. Welcome to this episode. So oh, let me back up a little bit. So loud, Welcome to this episode where hear I'm that, that's nice and quiet, Mike Smith. Mike is a first generation immigrant and then it fades out, you can still hear States. this. You don't want the music to take away from your subject or whoever it is that's talking. So that's adding music. Let's do the stinger real quick here. This is nice and easy. So here we said we have question one, answer one. I want to do a break here, so I'm going to move these over, these two pieces. See what I did there? I just clicked empty space, dragged a box. Now, music is in the music folder. Sound effects, if you go to the sound effects folder, you can see there's a bunch of different folders here. The effects folder, I think, is probably the best one for transition type sounds. Um, you can click on these and hear these. So you could do a school bell. You might wanna just do two seconds of that and not have it play the whole thing, so you would trim that down, kind of like I did with the music. What's this one? Electronic Zap, that's actually not too bad. That's a quick one. Let's put that down here. We'll put it on the Music Stingers track just to keep things more organized. So you place it, and let's see what this sounds like. We should hear then, this is my answer one finishing, and then it'll play the transition. Sticking together for each other, uh, it's very unique. How is your education? So see how that is? That's just good audio for the listener. They, they get that that has ended and you've moved on to something else if you choose to use stingers. So that's how you do music and stingers. Hopefully that helps you with your project. Thanks for watching.